It seemed an entire nation held its breath while waiting for Hamas to free the Israeli children it held hostage. Many Israelis cried as they watched each hostage release over the past few days. On Monday, mediator Qatar announced that Israel and Hamas agreed to extend a ceasefire for two more days, raising hopes among Israelis that more people, including children that Hamas had taken hostage on October 7th, would be released. Ohad Mundar, a thin boy who likes to play with Rubik's cubes, turned nine while being held captive by Hamas with his mother, Karen. He was reunited with his father in the hospital. His cousin, Meirav Raviv, says that Ohad has lost weight but seems healthy and happy to belatedly celebrate his ninth birthday with his friends at the hospital. But they were talking and uh, laughing and like, like normal kids. Uh, it wasn't that uh, uh, easy for him, but uh, Karen said that he behaved uh, very nice. Um, there were a time that he was crying. And also when he came back, I mean, uh, you know, the tears uh, when he saw a, a sensitive movie or something that someone told him something. So it was uh, emotional. But he's, I hope <laughs> he will... Uh, get uh, back to normal as soon as possible. Israel says Hamas captured 40 children out of a total of 240 hostages. An official from Qatar said that 10 of the children are under the control of other militant groups and that it is not clear if Hamas can find them. The freed children will have to work through the trauma of their ordeal, psychiatrists say. Some, like four-year-old Abigail Idan, saw their parents killed. Her father was holding her when a Hamas militant shot him. The condition is not normal. There are different reactions. One will cry, another will speak about different things. One will wet his bed, another won't, will be afraid to go out where they're from the safe room because that's the only safe place, or another won't agree to go into the safe room because the memories of the same room are the memories of death and, and danger. As part of the ceasefire deal, Israel released three Palestinian prisoners, all women or minors, for every hostage who was freed. Among the released prisoners was Fatima Shaheen, convicted of trying to stab an Israeli settler. <laughs> We are happy that she was released, but only slightly so, because we cannot ignore the dire conditions in Gaza, where thousands have been killed. It is not suitable for us to be happy at this time. The Israeli families say that the reunions with their children released from Hamas captivity are bittersweet because there are still so many remaining hostages. They say they will not rest until every family is reunited. Linda Gradstein, VOA News, Jerusalem.